well, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm continuing on with my Renee of Paris wig series. This is all, well, all these pieces I'm showing you are from the Orchid collection, which is like a best of the best for them. Um, they've brought in bestsellers and a few new pieces. They've added some color options. Everything is super cute, a great variety of colors. So moving on with today's wig, this is Renee of Paris's Envious. Um, this is like a medium length, kind of very loose wave, HD fiber synthetic wig. So you can use some heat tools on this. I've noticed that some of the curl has fallen out on this side. It's a little more wavy on one than the other. But anyway, we'll figure that out once I get her on. Okay, the color I am showing you is Cafe Ole. So it has a very dark, almost black root, and then it fades into this rich kind of chocolatey brown color. So it is a very um, dark and rich kind of coloring that's gonna be beautiful for fall. But I love the coloring on this. It's very unique. It's more than just a dark root. It almost has like this ombre effect to it about of you know how dark it is up here and then fading down to the lighter color okay this does have a lace front and this does have a lace right side part so that's the only way you can part this piece it has a standard uh, cap up here and then the wefting in the back adjustable ear tabs uh, vel no, not a velvet nape, but it does have adjustable straps down here at the nape to give you a snugger fit. Uh, the bang is about 12 inches, so it's more of a long layer in the front. From the nape down, it is 6 inches, so a good medium length piece, and the weight is about 4 ounces, so a nice and light weight. Um, let me share real quick that I am wearing, I always forget to mention this, but y'all ask. So this is John Renault's Fiery. This is another HD synthetic piece. Uh, the color is 6F27. Okay, I am going to go put on Envious and see how she looks. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Renee of Paris's Envy. Sorry, Envious. All right, this is Envious. She is a cute, soft, little mid-length HD wig. Um, I love the style. It's just very soft. These waves are just barely there, but it's enough movement in the piece to make it not stick straight. It gives it a little bit more natural look than just a kind of straight piece. Um, and because it's HD, you could go in there and you could probably get a little more umph in those curls if you tried. Um, you could probably get some more volume in here too. It's laying pretty flat, but if you gave it a good shake and kind of zhushed it up at the cap, you could definitely get some more volume. Uh, she just kind of came out of the box all sleek and, and kind of soft. Um, but the thing I noticed first about this piece was um, the right side part. So my hair naturally parts on the left side. So that's how I'm used to seeing myself, how I've always parted my toppers. So this is the opposite part for me, which I like and just not really used to it. The bulk of the hair is coming down on this side of my face where normally it comes down on this side. So if this piece um, were for me, it just takes some getting used to. So just keep that in mind if you typically wear your hair um, as a left side part and it goes to the right. Um, let's see, this has a lace front, so let's check out, let's see if I can get all the baby hairs out of the way so we can get a good, there we go. If you can see, and again, um, for some reason, Renee of Paris does the scalloped front lace. I think I prefer a straight lace front. It's just, I don't know, I feel like the more attention you bring to that lace front, the more detectable it might be. So I prefer a straight across lace. It's not horrible, but that's just personal preference. Um, the bang on this is 12 inches, so I mean, it's, I wouldn't consider it a bang, just that front piece. It's very long, you could definitely get an ear tuck with this, which I'm not used to, <laughs> to doing an ear tuck on this side. Um, it is a lot of hair going over. I will say, I feel like it looks kind of heavy going in that direction. Maybe it's the coloring, I'm not sure. Um, again, the coloring is Cafe Ole, so it's a very dark uh, base and root, and then it has more of an ombre effect into a, kind of a rich chocolate brown color. Um, if you can, I don't know if you can see 
my light isn't the best today for some reason. It's not picking up the colors, but an overall dark brown look. Um, as far as styling goes, you could pull this back. It is long enough to get a tiny little pullback back there. You could definitely do the ear tuck because it is a lace front. You could pin it away from your face if you needed to. Um, it does have dark knotting because dark pieces just tend to have that dark knotting there. But overall, a very like lightweight, soft piece. I would say this is probably my favorite out of the bunch that I've done for this Renee of Paris line of wigs that I've been reviewing. Um, probably because it's more, it's most like me. This is probably a style that uh, I would wear. I'd have to train that to go back. <laughs> It wants to keep falling in my face. Okay, um, let me give you a 360 of her. Let's see. Down. That. All the way around. Alrighty, there she is. If you need Envious in your life, just a cute, simple style, head on over to wigsbypattiespearls.com. The manufacturer's Renee of Paris. The style is Envious, and this color I'm showing you is Cafe Ole. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.